Well, we turn our attention on to wage negotiations in the gold mining sector, which started in Boxburg in the East Rand today, with the hope that the parties can find common ground. Chris, Chris Bishop, rather, of Forbes uh, magazine, was on the ground and getting some perspective. Let's take a look. Smiles and handshakes that belie the turbulent undercurrents of these pay talks for 93,000 gold miners. Both the NUM and AMCO have put in huge and unprecedented pay demands of between 80% and 100%. Among the 130 delegates here in Boxburg, you'll find many who are prepared to strike for it. The employers will plead poverty in this room. They're putting forward a so-called social compact package of benefits to mollify the unions ahead of a pay offer. The economic model, in essence, will say whatever we decide around wages, let's test the economic consequences of whatever we agree and see what it will do to sustainability of different operations and mines. It's likely to go down like a lead balloon with the unions. We were briefed on the document last week, I think it was Thursday. Uh, we're still studying the document, we'll respond to the chamber accordingly. But my personal opinion is that it's just a ploy to, to confuse this round of age negotiations. And you don't think you'll be able to accept any of it? As far as I'm concerned, it's unacceptable, but it will depend on what the, the team says about the document. Union rivalry will also rattle around this negotiating room. The once all-powerful NUM knows it has AMCU breathing down its neck. Both unions know whichever is seen to get the best deal here is likely to gain more members, an advantage in the competition for union power. Well, there was dispute here before the negotiations even started. AMCU, the union that represents a mere 29% of the 93,000 workers at the talks, said it has 10,000 more members than the Chamber of Mines acknowledges and says it has the proof. In reply, the Chamber of Mines said that AMCU can present the evidence and the numbers can be rectified before the talks get underway. Unions and employers are expected to elect an independent chairman for negotiations that could at best stretch into September, at worst, end quickly in a strike. So it all points to Wednesday in the presentation of the so-called Social Compact, a document outlining welfare benefits for miners. The employers hope that this document will pull the fat from the fire, but clearly the unions here don't want to hear of it. Chris Bishop for CNBC Africa, Boxburg.